Hello everyone and welcome to another short tutorial. In this tutorial I would like to show you how to edit photos and videos for Instagram and TikTok. So in a kind of smartphone format in Final Cut. Open Final Cut, create a new library, save that library is somewhere for instance in the same folder, let's call it TikTok, create a new project and that is now important because you now need to select vertical. So we are not taking a clip in full HD, so in this kind of format or 4K also in this kind of format. You want to have it in this kind of format. So make sure to hit vertical. Then you need to select the resolution. In this case, it's the other way around. So we are now selecting either HD, full HD or 4K, but in this format not in this one. So 720 times 1280 pixels. In this case I will select 1080p, so full HD, so 1080 times 1920 pixels. Give that project a name, for instance TikTok, and select the frame rate. Usually the iPhone shoots at 30 frames per second. Tap on OK and now you can see that this project is in a vertical format. Go into your folder with all the subfolders that you have created and drag them onto the date of this library. So here are my photos, my iPhone clips, camera clips, sound and sound effects. The first thing I'm going to do for this kind of project is to select a sound. So I got all my sounds from epidemicsound.com. The link is listed in the video description below. Awesome library with tons of sound effects, tons of great music. Make sure to check them out. The next thing is I would like to have, for instance, a clip that is 30 seconds long. So I'm going to increase that to 30 seconds. I want the audio starting from low to high. Make sure you go on that circle down here and drag that line slightly to the right and take also the last portion and drag it slightly to the left. So then it's starting from very low to very high. And it goes from high to low. If you want to take some pictures into a video, Make sure to select an image and as you can see now even that image was taken in portrait mode. I still have some black bars on the upper and the lower portion of my clip. So I can crop in which isn't a problem with that kind of picture because that has been taken with 45 megapixels. So with a high resolution I can select the length of this picture for instance. And then I can select an in point and an out point. And I'll show you straight away what I'm going to do with that. So here I would like to show you that kind of portion of that house for instance. And on the last bit I would like to zoom in a little bit and scroll to the left. So I'm going to show you what's happening. If I take a picture which has been taken in landscape mode, I'll select the length, in this case 5 seconds, I do have now these big black bars on the upper side and the lower side. I can either use them, for instance, to put in a text, just take the text field onto the image, Select a font you want to take, new apartment. If I want to duplicate this kind of layer, select the option key, hit the left mouse key and drag it on top of the other one. And then you've made a duplication of that text field. And then I can say in Frankfurt, new apartment in Frankfurt. 
that doesn't look so spectacular, but as before, I can zoom in into that image because it has a high resolution. I can select the portion I want to show to my audience, for instance, this one here. Make sure you select an in point, an out point, and once these five seconds for that clips, for that clip has been elapsed, I want to finish right here. I'll show you what I mean. So that's how I deal with pictures. Let's choose an iPhone clip. For instance, this one here that has been taken already in portrait mode or in Instagram mode, TikTok mode, whatever you want to call it. You can duplicate this layer. For instance, I can crop in if I want to. The video quality doesn't get better once I'm doing that. I can use also this clip here and for instance you see my finger down here and the last portion isn't very good so I cut that tap B get rid of the first part and then crop in if you wish to do so so these clips have been taken with my Canon EOS R5 in 4K with 120 frames per second, so already a high resolution. I can give you an advice, anytime you're unsure if you would like to show that kind of footage to your audience in landscape or in portrait mode, always record in the highest resolution because afterwards you are able to crop in. The lower the resolution, the worse the image quality gets while cropping in. For instance, I would like to show only that kind of portion to my audience. It's in slow motion and as you can see it has been taken in landscape mode so I do have these big black bars. I would like to crop in to get rid of them. Next I'm gonna set an in point because at the end I wish to zoom in even further. If you can't go beyond 400% tap on that 400% and type in a random number. I have here also a different clip which might be interesting for that kind of video. As you can see here that has been also taken in landscape mode. In this case I would like to go from left to right. Now I can give you a small tip. There is a company called Pixel Film Studios and here I do have a lot of icons, for instance TikTok. I can extend that duration of that logo. I can duplicate it, paste it also to the end. I can also search for Instagram. And I got tons of animated Instagram icons, for instance here, like or followers. I can drag that down in this corner. And now we are ready to export that kind of clip. Make sure here on the upper left side there is no background action anymore. Otherwise you might get some false in your video so make sure there's nothing moving here on the upper left side once you're exporting any video on the upper right side you see that square with the arrow pointing outwards you can name that clip you can add a description you can add some text which your audience does not see you can um, add your name to it export it for instance here on the desktop say save it takes I don't know, about a minute, depends on your computer. And that is the final clip that we added now together in Final Cut. As you can see, I can share that now using AirDrop or iMessage, or I can add it straight to YouTube, can send it via Dropbox transfer, and that's how it looks like. 
So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you do have any further questions, make sure you leave a comment below. All the best and see you very soon. And make sure to follow me on TikTok and Instagram. Bye bye.